Howdy folks, Neil here. Today I want to talk to you about the anatomy of a bear skull, specifically the Kodiak brown bear, but this would apply to any type of brown bear or grizzly and possibly even uh, a black bear. Um, I got this, I borrowed this from the office. It's a Kodiak brown bear that's been cut in half and so we're going to take a look at the insides and see what makes it tick. This bear right here is a relatively small bear but it's big enough to do some serious damage. So let's take this apart here. I gotta be careful with this because I borrowed it. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the brain cavity, and this right here is the nasal passage right through here. And this right here is the ear, as you can see. Let's turn it around here. So here's the, uh, the ear right here and the eye would be right here right here in this area and as you can see there's a lot of uh, hide and flesh this is the cheek this is the cheek here so there's a lot of hide and and flesh is protecting this but I'm sure you've all heard stories of uh, people shooting at bears in self-defense bears that are charging at them and the bullet will ricochet off of the skull. Well, what they're talking about is this area right here. See this? This slope? This is a perfect angle to ricochet a bullet. Now, look how thick this is. You know, that's over two inches thick right here. And this isn't even a large bear. So there's a lot of protection right here on top of the forehead. Um, it's difficult to penetrate this with a bullet, especially if you have a jacketed hollow point. Now, um, some hunters or people defending themselves have had success by shooting through the nose, the nose cavity here, and the bullet can easily travel through here into the brain, and that's um, instant death for the bear. But look how small this target is. Let me put these together here. If you can see that. Compare that to the size of my thumb here. Now, if this thing is coming at you at 30 miles an hour, bouncing up and down, going through the brush, I don't know about you, but you might have a hard time hitting that. Um, you know... The way I look at it is um, a bear is a lot like um, a medieval knight in plate mail. A, a lot of it is impenetrable. And, and we know from history that the only way to um, defend yourself against plate mail is to find a chink in the armor, essentially. They would, they would take a dagger or a sword or a spear and they would um, find a vulnerable location between the plates. And this is the same thing you have to do with a bear, is you have to find the vulnerable areas and do a very precise shot, uh, which is not easy with a firearm, or we're going to be talking about knives too. Um, so, so where are the vulnerable areas? Well, here's the obvious one. Right here. The temple, if you want to call it that, I, I don't know. The side of the skull here, right here. If I put my fingers in here, I can tell you that that's only about a quarter of an inch thick. Um, it wouldn't take much 
to shoot through that. The problem is you have to get the bear to cooperate and turn its head sideways. <laughs> uh, I don't have any tactics for that. Usually when a bear comes at you, this is not vulnerable. So it's going to be really hard to be able to, to accurately aim on the side of the head. Um, there have been stories where people had um, a bear on top of them and their hunting buddy shot the bear um, and killed it. And if that was the case, yes, I would be shooting right there. And what, what I've heard from biologists is that, um, and I don't quite understand it yet, but you, you draw an X, like you have the eye and the ear, and you draw an X, and that's where you aim. But um, kind of the way I look at it is, here's the eye socket right here, okay? So if you come back, my hand's about four inches wide. If you come back about four inches from the eye, straight along the top of the eye, then that's pretty much the center of the brain. So, you know, roughly halfway between the eye and the ear is the center of the brain. And so that's what you want to be able to aim at if you have the opportunity to shoot. Now, there's another vulnerable location, and that's underneath. Let's put these together here. Pardon me. Now, Here is the, uh, the spinal cord, and um, the, uh, the brain is right through here, and it's a very small target, but if you came up from underneath the bear, as you can see, it's not very thick through here. So it's a very tiny um, target and here's the uh, cerebellum and the brain this area and uh, the the brain stem which all of this controls the motor functions as well as the like the frontal lobe controls the motor functions but if you're able to somehow get into the cavity of the brain with with either um, your you know your hunting skinning knife or a bullet you should be able to instantly kill the bear. And um, this comes to another point. Let me just kind of set this up here. That I want to talk about is there have been some recorded cases of hunters who were field dressing their deer and they got charged by a bear. Okay, this actually happens quite a bit. Now, most of the time, it's, um, it's a false charge, um, or the hunter is able to just back off, and, and the bear gets the deer, and that's that. But there have been a few cases where um, hunters have been mauled pretty seriously, and they happen to have their um, hunting knife in their hand that they were using to clean. So I, I brought my hunting knife. I just want to show you something here. So this is the hunting knife that I use. This has a, um, a five inch blade, okay? I like to have an orange handle because you set it down. You can always find it. So most hunters would consider this to be on the big side. I would say most skinning knives are probably closer to four inches than they are five, but um, I like having a five inch blade specifically for this reason <laughs> god forbid if i get tackled by a bear and uh, my pistol gets knocked out for me or if i have a rifle and i lose that whatever and it's the bear is essentially mauling me to death So let's pretend that he has a knife in his right hand. Right there.
So there you have it. I just wanted to show you this bear skull. I thought it was interesting and possibly open up a discussion on it. So until next time, take care.